Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing a get ready with me with new makeup. I have some Nuclear de Peau, Tom Ford, some Lady Gaga House Labs, and some Clinique as well. So that is today's video. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. I'm going to start off with a bit of uh, base prep here. I'm going into my Shiseido oil-free sunscreen. So I often mention this in the description box, but a lot of you are asking how to wear it, when to apply it. So I've already done moisturizer. Now I'm going into the sunscreen. You have to give it a good shake. So I hope that was a good ASMR moment. Then you go in and you do like two or three stripes on your fingertips like this. This is a very fluid, runny sunscreen. It's oil-free, which is nice. And you can, in fact, use this as a makeup primer. It's very, very thin. It really just melts into the skin like it's water. It doesn't take much work to get it to absorb. And then I take it down on the neck as well. I'm wearing a sweater. I'm wearing my Lisa Eldridge sweater, so I don't have to worry about the neck too much or the chest, I should say. But yeah, that's it. There is a little bit of a cast in this SPF, but it's really nice. And yeah, like it doesn't look greasy. It doesn't look um, heavy. Some sunscreens, even for face, are a little bit heavier to blend in, but that's it. That's the sunscreen. And like in a perfect world, you would do moisturizer wait 20 to 30 minutes then do spf and then wait another 20 or 30 minutes before makeup today i am going to do that probably because i'm going to do my eyes first that's why i did the sunscreen uh right away but i understand if we don't live in a perfect world now last week i talked about the coral reef palette here from Clé de Peau. i bought this in store and it's so pretty it's i mean you can tell how much i've used it in the short period that i've had it but um the other day Clé de Peau sent me a palette so thank you Clé de Peau, for sending me another eyeshadow palette this one here is more pink and purple and this one is called hold on i have it here pink coral shells number nine and it's kind of pink, kind of plummy. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one today. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna go ahead and give you swatches of this one here. This shade here is a primer. So what I'll do is I'll swatch this one and then I'll swatch all of these on top of this one just to show you the difference because I didn't quite understand that when I used the first palette there, but then on my own, I used it like that and then we'll see. So just on its own, that's the primer. Kind of just looks like a light, iridescent color and then I'll do a stripe of the other colors across again this is number nine pink coral shells don't be scared off by the name because this is giving pink and like sort of neutral browns with a hint a whisper of purple there's no coral in here but it's very pretty and if you swipe these on top of the primer, it does become more intense. It doesn't change the color, it just intensifies it. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to use the sponge tip applicator. That's the method used on the website. They say to use that all over the lid first. On its own, it sort of just looks pearlescent. I like that these are refillable, so you could just buy one palette and like one case and then just buy the refills and swap them out if you wanted to, or you could just buy the full case as well. Now I'm going into this color over here and I'm using the Angie Hot and Flashy A502. I'm just taking some of this color here and I'm placing it in the crease. So today, like this week, marks like official super gloomy, rainy, fall, autumnal weather. Like all week, it has been rain, rain, and more rain, like just nonstop rain. And this past weekend, we were supposed to go apple picking, like everyone, like the whole group were supposed to be like, I don't know, 10 maybe, something like that. Like everyone was supposed to go apple picking. I didn't organize it, thank God, someone else did. But then we saw that there was going to be like the torrential downpour. We had like weather warnings, weather advisories. So we decided to cancel 
the apple picking, which was a bit of a bummer because it happens, you know, once a year. Although we do know people who go apple picking like several times a year and they get their money's worth. For me, apple picking is always just like an activity. You know, it's an excuse to see people, to hang out, get off the island and go into nature. That For me, that's what the activity is for. I'm just taking a little bit on the bottom lashes here. So anyway, when I got the email saying apple picking canceled, I went into emergency overdrive. I was like, wait, everyone is free. Let's do like an emergency last minute Friendsgiving. Now I think that this is the Makeup Forever 242. I'll write it in the description box, but I'm just taking this to blend out a little bit. I love this makeup brush. I've used it so much that I've literally just, you know, what rubbed off the entire um, information here, but I think it's the 242 if I'm not mistaken. I just wanna make it a little bit softer here in the crease. So anyway, I went into overdrive. I messaged everyone because usually apple picking is sort of like an all day, all afternoon activity. So you don't typically plan like a lot of stuff later in the evening. So everyone was free. And I was like, okay, I've got 24 hours to make this happen. I'm gonna make the chicken, the gravy, cranberry sauce, roasted veggies and sides. You, you're bringing the dessert. You, you're bringing more sides. You, you're bringing another main. And it was like, three, two, one, go. Everyone, here's your, here's your order. Everyone run to their uh, respective grocery stores and just get whatever they can. I, I sort of ran into the grocery store thinking, listen, I'm gonna get what I can get. Maybe we'll have a chicken. Maybe we'll have Thanksgiving pierogies. We'll see what the grocery store has left to offer like a day before the event, but it worked out. Okay, now I'm dipping into pink from the pink coral shell, and I'm using one of these new brushes from Ruffer. It's the O2 Mini. Now I think that this will be launched by the time that I'm posting this video, but I just I just received this new brush here from Ruffer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm just going to pack some of the pink on and I'm going to apply it. And I think that, you know, doing a big dinner, because we were still like, I don't know, seven or eight people, planning a big dinner like this last minute, just like very, like very spontaneously, was actually less stress. Because instead of spending weeks trying to figure out when is the best weekend for everyone, when is the best time, blah, 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 it was sort of just like, are you free? Are you free? Okay, okay, let's go. Like just, it was easier. And it was more fun in a way because it was just like less stress. So I'm like, well, maybe I should do big dinners spontaneously more often. I guess you always run the risk that you won't be able to see everyone you want to, but maybe you just need to have more parties because it's hard to get everyone at the same time. So I guess you just have to appreciate who's there. Okay, now I think that if you use the primer first, it does work to intensify the color, but maybe it's just this palette here, but I find it more, more shimmery than the first palette that I used. What was it called? Like Coral something, Coral Reef, number five, like um, this one here. I think this one had just like a bit more matte. Like this one is a bit more matte. I don't know. I'm just noticing a little bit of a difference here. And let me go into this one here with the new Refer Mini. It's super precise. It looks super tiny. So I'm going to go ahead and pack some of this. Honestly, it, in here, it looks like it's purple. But then when I swatched it, it almost looks like a soft satiny brown. Let me go ahead and just place this in the crease. So let me know if you have experience doing um, sort of like emergency last minute big dinners with people. But yeah, typically when I would plan a sort of like Friendsgiving or something, a holiday dinner, it's always like weeks in advance and there's like more time to stress and think about it. Whereas this was like, there was no time to think, you know, it was just, it's happening. It's happening tomorrow. Okay, so this definitely looks purple. Like when you blend it out here, it's, it's turning purple but it's, it's very soft, like it's really pretty. I would have picked this up for myself. I was just going to wait for spring because I do like these types of hues for um, spring, but then it's not like, um, 
too spring like it's not like screaming easter eggs or anything like that but something about pink and purple for me is you know just really cute for spring but in general it's very very flattering for brown eyes so i'm happy to use it going back into my mystery brush from makeup forever here i'm just blending these out softly so yeah, like it, it is purple, but it's very soft. So it's not going to be like tacky or anything like that. It is very clé de peau, you know, where the hues are very subtle, soft. It's like a whisper of purple. If you went into a deep purple eyeliner that could emphasize the look, but you could just use black or brown. Honestly, I might just skip eyeliner entirely. It's up to you. Maybe I'll add a little bit of eyeliner, just a little bit, but. Just to say, this is staying in the very mature, classic wheelhouse of Clé de Peau, so don't be worried. Don't be scared off. I just used a little bit of my Chanel Espresso liner. It's like a dark chocolate brown. I just wanted it to be soft and subtle. Now, for the mascara, I have something new here from Clinique, and this is the High Impact Hi-Fi Full Volume Mascara, because one of you, a couple of you actually mentioned this one to me. In my last get ready with me i was asking for a new mascara recommendation and you guys recommended this one so it's supposed to be very volumizing supposed to stretch your lashes all day give them lift great that's what we want with mascara and so oh it's very green it's very shiny i don't really i mean i used to use clinique when i was younger but i haven't used them in a long time and so i bought a couple other things too when i was there this is what the wand looks like Okay, it looks promising. I like that it's a big um, wand applicator here, but I also like that it's tapered at the end to, you know, if you wanna do the bottom lashes. Let's go ahead and give this a go. Okay, well, I think it does make a really big difference. This is with and without mascara. Yeah, it, it's actually really good. I haven't used Clinique in a long time, but this is, a very good mascara lots of volume lots of drama it also separates really nicely i mean this eye looks naked here in comparison so let me go ahead and uh, do this one over here i do notice a little bit of fallout with my eyeshadow i'll go ahead and clean that up in a second for the foundation let's go into lady gaga's foundation this is the house lab that's her brand this is the triclone skin tech so this comes in 51 shades that's amazing so this is the shade range here so this retails at 45 usd or 59 canadian dang uh, so this is a cutting edge long wear foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising the skin infused with skincare ingredients and our patent pending uh, fermented arnica it's a buildable medium coverage a luminous second skin finish okay so i think i'm going to be in like firmly in the center here they have a, a couple options here but i think that's what i'm going to use i'm going to crack this open this is the 200 light medium neutral i think yeah i think that'll be it i think that'll be the good one here it glides nicely there's like fermented arnica it feels almost like it has oil in it like you know the Surat beauty uh, what's that foundation the dew drop like this one here you know how that one sort of feels like it's an oil foundation this gives a little bit of that not quite as much but it sort of just blends really quickly and it sort of feels like it has that slip to it hmm. So this says it's like a buildable medium coverage. I think that's correct, but I would almost say it's a bit more light to medium, which is good for me. It feels like a foundation. So this is a buildable medium. I would say so. I think it starts pretty light, but I really like how it blends. It sort of just, it feels like a face oil when you blend it in. It's not difficult to blend in at all feels nice it looks very luminous looks very healthy hmm. 
I haven't been in a foundation mood in a long time, but I think this is nice. I think it's pretty because I know House Labs has been around for a minute and I think their foundations and their highlighters are super popular. So I can see why, like it looks very healthy, very glowy. What else does it say? Second skin finish. Yeah, it looks like skin. I can still see, like it covers a nice amount, but I can still see, see some little imperfections, which is fine. Hmm. Very nice, very nicely made Lady Gaga. I'm going to add my Armani concealer. This is the shade 5.5. Let's see how this foundation um, plays with other products here. So this concealer from Armani is also very fluid. It also just blends really quickly into the rest of the makeup here. Like it feels very water-like in a way. This foundation is very pretty. It's just very glowy, very luminous. Like you saw the primer that I added. It wasn't like a super radiant primer. I'm not wearing any highlighter yet. It looks very healthy. It looks second skin. It looks like your skin. Hmm. Hmm. Lady Gaga. Okay. I'm very skeptical whenever celebrities come out with makeup, but this is nice. I wonder, I hope she makes travel sizes of the foundation because I really, I don't need a new foundation and I'm not like, once I get back into a foundation mood, I can see about buying a new foundation, but right now, I don't know, I might buy it. I could see myself buying it, but not right away, but it's very pretty. Yeah, and as a reference, I have dry dehydrated skin and I'm 35 and I don't know, I, I think it's a little bit moisturizing. I think it's the skincare and arnica in here that's giving it just like a nice sort of luminous hydrating look but if you have very oily skin i don't know if this would be for you because you can see just like that level of glow uh for the blush i'm gonna go into my chanel harmony blush here this is the purple one sort of it's the harmony blush number 798 beige rosé and mauve it's supposed to be super like mauve but sometimes it's a little bit or peachy on me so anyway i'm using this one here for the highlighter i'm going into my new favorite makeup product ever it's a highlighter from tom ford i know i'm not even a highlighter girl but this is part of their soleil neige collection this is number one rose irisée it's just so pretty and i get it i get the hype around highlighters now this is the shiseido it's like a multi-use multi-purpose face brush it's good for highlighting so oh it's so pretty it's just so finely milled and it just melts into the skin like butter it melts in as if it was like a liquid highlighter it's so pretty a little bit more and then i just take the brush and i squish it with my fingers and then i go on the brow bone like this all right i got something else here from clinique it's the almost lipstick in the shade black honey I've just heard people talk about this for quite some time. I think it's been around for a very, very long time, like since the 90s or 2000s. And it's currently made a resurgence here. So it's this super skinny tube and it's the almost lipstick. So it looks super dark like this, but then on the lips, it sort of transforms and it's been really popular. Again, black honey. Let me just go ahead and apply it. I didn't bother putting it on the back of my hand because it sort of just melts in with your skin's natural pH. And so for me, it's a little bit darker. I've seen it on some people and it was more sheer, but I've just been like building it up and it's just a super pretty, perfect for fall. It gives a little bit of that 90s vampy look. Oh, so pretty. This would be great as like a lip primer because it's very buttery it feels very moisturizing but it doesn't run so if you have like dark lip colors you want to wear at home you could wear this underneath and then put your lipstick on top or wear your lipstick and then just add a bit of this to add some moisture during the day very pretty hmm. i like the i like how sleek it is too it's gonna be really easy to fit in my purse with my 500 other lip products i'm just going to add a little bit more blush because i just think it'll be nicer with this lip here hmm. very very pretty now i need a perfume i don't have a new one but i think i'm going to go into my armani c eau de parfum this one here it's been out for a while it's gourmand it's a little bit sweet a little bit spicy a little bit musky mm. i think it's good for a fall makeup look and 
yeah i think that's it what else have i done yeah no this is a full face i've got the full face ready here all right so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed my new goodies i know i certainly did um what were the hot points um the mascara from clinique is really good and also very affordable like this is great mascara look at that like what else is there to say great mascara it works well i love black honey it's super pretty it says it's an almost lipstick so it's not going to be like super super long wearing but i don't mind reapplying during the day also what's this one called again pink coral shells very pretty it's very soft the pink like if you put the pink on top of the primer it pops even more it's a whisper of purple a whisper of pink it's not too tacky it's not too intense very very pretty if you have brown eyes you're going to love it the lady gaga foundation it is very nice i don't know if i'll buy it right away but it's good uh what else the armani concealer i like it a lot i talked about it a lot recently yeah i think that's it we have some new i mix in some old and also like the black honey has been around for decades so it's not it's new to me but not totally new anyway I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me with new makeup if you want me to test out any other new products on the market leave a comment down below thank you so much for stopping by make sure you're subscribed make sure you're subscribed and you have your notification bell set to on so you can get a notification when i post a video and that's it thank you so much for stopping by hope you have a beautiful day and i'll see you next time bye